Heyo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here. We're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Boolean Bill's Outlaw Rift, created by Kanaz. So, stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, this was sent in by one of our Discord advanced builders, Kanaz, and he says, Hi, Johnny. I love the show and thought I might try my first Coaster Spotlight submission. I've been working on this for a while and I and hope it might be worth a look. It's a 4K blueprint that contains three rides, a dive coaster, Viper, River Rapids, and a rideable day or night. Here's the backstory. Bullion Bill was quite eager to rake in millions when he acquired the Outlaw Rift and an old abandoned mine rumored to chuck full of gold. Turns out the those rumors were a total bust and Bill found himself drowning in debt rather than cash. Fearing the swarming loan sharks and financial ruin, the eccentric tycoon did the only thing he could salvage the operation into a shady theme park that's barely passed safely re safety regulations. Can you survive this old tycoon's cash grab or will you end up blown to smithereens? Now let's just hope the duct tape holds. Thanks so much for creating such an incredible community and I hope you enjoy. Thanks again, Kanaz. Thank you so much for your pre appreciation, Kanaz. It really means a lot to me. Quick look at the Steam Workshop, everyone. Billion Bills Outlaw Rift. Links will be down in the description as always always come over here rate it favorite it and subscribe to it let's get it some more ratings so i didn't realize there were three rides to set up so i'm gonna need a minute i'll cut to it when it's ready but i have to set up two other rides all right we are set up and good to go now one thing that i've noticed here says set mine train to test mode now this is something i suggested back in i think wick zugo and i really hope this is what actually happens um, but i made the suggestion that somebody should use one of the train coasters in test mode so that for the purpose of when you're riding the coaster and you go by a train nearly crashes into you so the fact that he says put a train into test mode tells me there might be a train that's set to crash and dual synchronize just for the sake of um, a scenery event so that's what i'm hoping that happens and i could be wrong but I'm just taking a wild guess here, and I hope I'm right, because that would be totally awesome. So anyways, let's take a peek at all this while we wait for the guests to load up. Um, we have a jail here. Naughty, <laughs> naughty little penguin. Canals did an uh, exploration coaster and won in one of our contests, and he had a lot of penguins. Seems to be There, there seems to be a little bit of a penguin fad going on here uh, between some of our members. But I, I absolutely enjoy it. It's a ton of fun. So it seems like everybody's getting to the rides now. We can slow it down. Uh, big oil rig. Oh, wait, what was this? Stars? I'm a little confused by that. I guess it works good for oil. Huh. Interesting. We have... Uh, this is the, the power plant or mining operation. This is absolutely crazy. And we have the oil rig up here. Spouting oil. Um gonna assume it catches on fire lots of contraptions and crazy stuff i just saw a crane train crash i might have been right about my prediction i really hope so we'll have to see how it looks in the first person and hopefully it's um timed well i don't know how exactly that would work oh we just saw it come out there <laughs> that's awesome all right let's take a look at the coasters we have a rift which is a 5.94 excitement a 3.94 fear and a 1.39 nausea 160 seconds in duration length is 737 meters and then we also have a outlaw which is 6.43 excitement 4.1 fear and a 2.21 2.26 nausea 69 seconds in duration and 1209 meters in length what well, seems like this one is a boomerang so that's cool and then we have a River Rapids down below, which is a 4.4 excitement, a 3.2 fear, and a 2.02 nausea. 227 seconds in duration, and the length is 533 meters. So um, we're going to have to... This is going to probably be a long episode, so buckle up, get some popcorns, guys. Outlaw ride. Rift. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to ride day and night of both the coasters, and then we'll probably just ride day for the 
River Rapids. We'll see how it goes. So there's going to be lots of perspectives and lots of things to ride in this one. It's probably going to run a little bit longer than normal, which is great. So let's jump on the Rift first. I think that should be fun. And then we'll do the Boomerang. So this first one we're riding is a dive coaster. Pretty awesome. Look at all these contraptions. Oh boy. Some awesome music. Like how it points towards the boomerang. If it's timed right, you might be able to see the boomerang hit the edge. Oh, there's the train. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. 
All right, that was quite the experience. Pretty awesome. We're going to jump on the Outlaw now. All right, so this is actually the uh, Viper 1 Impulsion. This is the brand new coaster that came with the summer update. So this one actually can pass through the station multiple times and it swings to get its momentum. So this should be a very interesting one. And the cameras were not fixed for this one either. That's unfortunate. You cannot go in test mode without the camera being bugged out. So it has boosters that get it up to speed. Very cool. Nice. I'm going to attempt a cinematic view and see how that goes. If it doesn't work too well, we'll skip it for day. You guys saw me messing around with the speeds a little bit really quickly. I felt like I was on fast forward mode because the coaster was traveling so quickly, but I'm actually not. It's, it seems to be going very fast, doesn't it? Like no friction fast. So as I was saying, the camera's bugged out, guys. If you want to test mode it, this is the view you get. You're inside the... Uh, rails and it seems like all the new coasters in the summer update the cameras were not tested and set properly so none of the new coasters can actually be tested in test view you have to have guests otherwise it bugs out
Yeah, that coaster seems to travel and glide very uh, low friction, doesn't it? It's interesting. All right, last up is the River Rapids. Let's jump on this guy. <laughs> Love it. I kind of wish that train was longer though. It just seems like the tip of the train. It's a little dry. Seriously, this will roast you. Uh oh. Ooh. Beautiful. So there you go, everybody. That was absolutely amazing. I really love this combination of three different rides mixed together. If you have a Western Park, this is a perfect uh, blueprint for you to download and put in because it's going to be such a good money maker with two coasters and a River Rapids all in this one compact area. So you can put it wherever you want in your Western Park, and it's just going to generate money and bring in a big crowd. Let's see, this this park has 1,200 guests on nearly just because of this one attraction. So this is going to bring in a a lot of people to your park it's going to make you a lot of money and it's beautifully designed well themed uh, lots of cool triggered events i love the little introduction of the crashing uh, train coaster which is great uh it's it has the use of the new coaster the viper so lots of really good things going on in this one so really good job kanaz and uh there you go everybody that was bullions bills oat law rift by kanaz and that's going to do it for this episode of coaster spotlight if you guys enjoyed please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos if you guys want to support the show and keep it going you can do so by becoming a patron or by leaving a tip or donation using the links down in the description below all right everybody thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye now